Bible in Luke 15 talks about three lost things. It shows us the three ways that people can be lost. There was the lost sheep, there was the lost son, and there was the lost coin. Not all are the same kind of loss. The first one, the lost sheep, was lost because it wandered away. It, it didn't intend to get lost. It just started nibbling. And it got, its, it got away and got some distance between the sheep and the shepherd. And it just started wandering further and further away. And somehow, it looked up and all the other sheep were gone and everything looked confused and it was lost and it was in wolf country and it didn't even know how it got there. It's one thing, you know, when you do something intentional, but there are people today who are lost who have just wandered off. They go to church, they're sheep, they're not a goat. It's still a sheep. It's possible for the sheep to wander, to drift, Further and further and further all the way out onto the turf of the enemy. Have you ever been lost? Now, many of you young people won't understand this, but back before they had GPS, we used to literally use maps to tell us how to get to places. It was the craziest thing. I know you're used to Siri. You just say, well, how do I give me directions? And it'll tell you exactly how to, she will. Well, before Siri, I had Sharice. We used to travel in, 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 in our car as evangelists all over this nation. Every night of the week, we preached revival after revival after revival after revival. And I preached in almost every state of this nation. And we'd get in the car and go to another one and go to another one and go to another one. And one time, my Siri, who is Sharice, because she, that was her job. My job was to drive. Her job was to tell me. So I'm used to a woman telling me how to drive my car. But she fell asleep. And she slept for several hours. And I didn't know it. But I was drifting. Further, somewhere I took a wrong turn. And we drove for hours. And when she woke up, she said, where are we? Why are we in, I forget where it was, South Carolina, when we were supposed to be in North Carolina, wherever it was we were going. I don't remember, the, but it was a whole different state. And she said, what have you done? And I remember when we finally got back on the right interstate, it was the most wonderful feeling to know that we were back going in the right direction. Well, let me tell you, that's how a lost sheep feels. Lost sheep got lost wandering away. It didn't mean to get lost. They don't ever like being lost, and that's how you know if you're a sheep or not. If, if you like being lost, if you like your world and your sin and all your stuff that you're doing more than you love the church, let me help you out. You're either a sheep or a goat, Jesus said. And if you're a sheep, you don't like being lost. And when you hear a sermon like this, you want to get back quick to the shepherd's arms. But people who are not saved, they're not sheep. They don't want to get back. They have no intentions of getting back. They're okay living their life far from God. That means you're not a sheep, you're a goat. And unless you repent, you're going to die and go to hell. We need to hear straight preaching. We don't have time for games no more. You're either a sheep or a goat. And if something in your nature, here's how you know you're a sheep. Something in you, if you feel yourself drifting and you hear the call of the shepherd, it instantly, even though I have drifted, even though I have gone far away, even though I shouldn't be over here nibbling in this pasture where there's wolves, I, I want to get back. If you don't have a want to, something is wrong with your soul. Now watch this. The lost sheep wandered away, but the lost son walked away. It was intentional. It wasn't an accident. He knew what he was doing. He said, give me my inheritance. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing. He went to a foreign country. I choose to do this. 
I'm not wandering away. I'm not wanting to get back on the right path. I'm not missing going in the right direction. I like where I am. I join myself to this foreign country. This is my new world. These are my new people. I don't want that. I don't want the church. That's the difference between the lost sheep. It wandered away but was glad to get back. The other one, the lost son, walked away. It's interesting that the shepherd was commanded to go get the lost sheep. But the father never leaves and goes to get the lost son. Now listen to me carefully. Because you can't find a lost son, he has to find himself. You can't find a lost daughter who's been raised in this. They have to find themselves. There's not enough talking you can do. And it was when the prodigal was in the pig pen, the Bible says these amazing words in Luke 15, he came to himself. And when he found and came to himself, then he said, I need to go home to the father's house. But never did the father go after the son until he saw him coming home and when he started coming home he ran with the coat with the ring with the shoes and covered his disgrace and brought him back and said look what God has done my son is home kill the fatted calf let's have a party and let's never talk about what happened again I don't know who I'm preaching to, but I'm praying today that you will come to yourself. You were not born to be a drug addict, an alcoholic, somebody out in the world. You are called and chosen of God, and you can come home today. You're welcome home today. You need to turn around and run home today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications on new posts and live streams. Be sure to share this video with a friend. You never know how you can send the Word of God right when somebody needs to hear it. And you can use your social influence for good, for the glory of God. Thanks again. Share it with a friend. And I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.